now recording from the Wish version of Mexico because Nick was missing the flights. Hey, allegedly. I never missed a flight in my life. Honestly, this this whole thing feels like I've been away from home for a month, but it also feels like I've been away from home for three months. Different cities, one after the other after the other. Bam, bam, bam. And yeah, it's all good. I just want to go back to the gym. I just felt it. Like, I'd just be feeling the, the itch. As much as I'm doing all this, I just feel that in the back of my mind. My enemies are after me, so I need to get back to the gym. It's just in there. It's in there constantly, like that target on my back. So I'm like, all right, bet. See, all these guys fight. I know Dan's fighting this weekend and other stuff. So I'm like, just, yeah, I want to go back to the gym. Uh, did you watch last week's card? <laughs> a little bit, yeah, because I was on set. So I missed some of the great ones that people were talking about. But then, you know, I watched a few, the notable ones. Did you watch Perez fight? Yeah, notable ones, ones that I should watch. So. What do you think? Yeah, I watched those. Uh... Bruno Silva guy's tough. I'll give him that. Shit, tough but shit defense. And what about uh, Drew Dober's comeback? Man, what a crazy one. I haven't seen that one yet because I was on set, but I'm going to watch it probably on the plane or when I get home because I knew that Terrence is a fucking gangster. Yeah. Like, I heard he dropped him in the first and then the comeback from Drew Dober is killer. But, you know, things like these happen. I feel like it's it's it's, it's part of a story. It's, it's, he's going to be better from this because he took that fight on a week's notice. Yeah. And look how, and Drew Dober is no fucking joke. Drew Dober is a gangster. He hangs in there with the best at the top yeah. level. So, um, yeah, I know Terrence will be back. Gana Nelson is fighting a guy called Takashi Sato. But yeah. Sato has been out 16 months. Uh, and Gunn has been out for a while as well. Two and a half years. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. a fan of Gunnar Nelson. Yeah, I love Gunnar Nelson. One thing I liked about him was, apart from his stance, his posture, even when he walks, he has like a weird posture but his stance and the way he bounces the way he likes to mix his grappling up with his strikes um, and his punching style as well he punches like he, he has weird angles of punch i like like a stoicness i like the fact that he doesn't say shit but he's very interesting he's very very interesting to watch as a as a, as a character it's almost reminds me of fedor or fyodor if you like to say um, I don't know the guy he's fighting properly, but I look forward to Gunny's comeback, especially after two and a half years. I've been seeing his Instagram videos, he's looking, he's looking in tip top shape. Um, but yeah, two and a half years is, is a long time for anyone. And bro, cage rust is real, no matter what they try to tell you. I mean, even if you've been doing all the work, actually, if you, if you, it depends. If, you, if you've been doing the work, then it's easy to get back in there, but it's, it's not about really the, the fighting, it's more dealing with everything like the lights, the crowds. So how he handles that is going to be serving for him how he goes into this fight because that kind of stuff after two and a half years can drain you. But I look forward to this comeback from Gunnar Nelson. I like, yeah, I, I, I want him to win because I want to see him get back to the top of the division because, yeah, he's nice. All right, okay, next fight, Paddy versus Kazula. Before we talk about the fight, what does mm -hmm. it feel like coming into the UFC with a lot of hype, being a hype train? Some people can't handle it. Some people crumble under that pressure, but some people actually like rise to the occasion and they excel under that pressure. So uh, yeah, it just depends on who you are as a person and your spirit and the people you have around you. Cause sometimes, like I said, a lot of people crumble because they have all this hype behind them, but then their, their fights off the UFC are padded, padded records. Yeah, their hype isn't really, justified you know and some of them sip your own kool-aid too much you get drunk off it i just sit mine because i know it's nice i'm nice with it pimblet yeah another guy with a lot of hype behind him i uh, jumped in the ufc talked that shit, and he walked that shit too i like i like what he's doing i like i like the haircut but um no nah, I, I like what he's doing i like how he's owning everything and just t telling it like it is speaking his truth all right the guy that he's fighting vargas he's one and two in the ufc seems like the ufc is helping patty you're building him up this is the thing when i was in the ufc when i jumped in i was ready to fight the dangerous peoples of the division and they put me straight away against the grappler who's just gonna grapple me and that's what he tried to do second fight i'm fighting you no know, blockhead third fight I'm fighting top rank guy top 10 fuck yeah. third fight so this is this is what i'm saying like look you'd be a hype train but these levels like I, I knew i had to jump in the deep end and swim with the shark straight away you know, I didn't have the opportunity, you know, like some of these guys, even John early on was fighting, but not scrubs, but like, you know, they, they push you. And then once they re once they realize who you are, then, ooh, okay, let's, let's push them more. But yeah, anyway, that's no shade, by the way. That's no shade. That's just me stating it as it is for myself. Like, I didn't have the opportunity to fight a guy who was one, too. Pimple threw shade at you, though. I, I like his rail. I like his style. I like, I like his personality as well. I just don't like the mad, stupid dances he does when he comes out. All that choreographed shit. Really? 
he Absolutely. should do that. I dare, I dare him to fucking do a whole entrance on the biggest fight of his life. Not talking this fight. This ain't the biggest fight of his life yet. He's fighting a motherfucker that's one and two. Mm. He's getting fed a bomb. Mm. Yeah, I dare him to try something like that and then fight and do what I did. His future, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. He's good and they're going to push him because he's going to sell. But he can do very well. He can do very well. And that kind of confidence as well shakes a lot of dudes. I just know this because I know fighting. It shakes a lot of dudes. Even a lot of veterans get shh. And then when they're under the lights that that guy has created, like Fimblet, or that I've created when I did it myself, then they just, like, the bumps in <laughs> on the lights of MSG. I created all that. And then he's just like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. He gets shook. So he can shake a lot of veterans with his confidence. But like I say, he's a bit green. So he needs to work on his skills, especially his, his striking. I'm all pissed right. off as well because of fucking Mexico. So this guy, I don't know why. And I'm going to take it out on him. He fucking looks like Jay off in between us. He does talk a lot of shit. Boss wankers! <laughs> Protect yourself at all times. Shout out to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Did you find that you couldn't watch the UFC fight nights on Fight Pass while we were overseas? I think it's, what is it, ESPN Plus or whatever. Yeah. I don't have an ESPN Plus account. You know how I get through that? NordVPN. That's how I literally got through it. So, it's, yeah. well, mine's always active anyway. Yeah. It's always active. So I can just change it to New Zealand and boom, I was able to watch Fight Pass right here in America. With my own account, with over 5,000 servers in 59 countries, you can enjoy freedom on the internet with no limits. With NordVPN, one account lets you connect to up to six devices. Right now, they have an exclusive deal to celebrate their 10-year anniversary. Every purchase of a two-year plan will get you one additional month free and a surprise gift. When you sign up to nordvpn.com slash stylebender, it's risk-free with 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com slash stylebender. Link in the description below. Okay, Hangman versus Allen. Hangman is back to 145. Question. I like it. The whole burn the boats mission. Give me your thoughts on it and did you take inspiration from that saga of his career because even me i took inspiration from the whole burn the boats thing i was like saying burn the boats every like three seconds yeah 100 percent. because um he was just out about it and hangman is a guy who has a family i can't imagine what that's like when you have like a, a family you're raising and then you have to just be like see ya maybe you know yeah that's crazy so um the fact that he did that that was that was inspiring the fact that he still did that and he still showed love to the, the the country that he loves even though the officials of that country shaded him the sports ministry or whatever shaded him and the way he handled that was was pure class so yeah i took inspiration from that and i still stand by my word Fuck him. there's nothing new to him there's nothing new to me he's already been at 145 but then he went to 155 to fight you know killers like guys who, who are legit he did really well at 155 beat some notable names fought some notable names um you know crazy scraps and now coming back down to 145 but then doing it properly looks sharp he looks on he's having ice cream he's having ice cream and i'm like oh and that shout out to fight dietitian jordy he's uh he's making things happen and the chicken nuggets and color to his food. I see you, Dan. I see you. Have you seen much of uh, Arnold Allen? I probably have, but you know, there's so many fighters, man. It's just hard to keep up with everyone. He's good. Yeah, he's good. He's got one loss. Well, I'm gonna pick Dan. Even if Dan was fighting Jesus, I'm gonna pick Dan. You already know. So, what do you think happens when Dan makes it to the top of the, the top of the featherweight division? And Falk is there waiting for him. I don't want to talk about that. Don't, don't fucking fuck off, Blackamoto. Piece of shit. Not, not, not fuck off. Anything. Yeah, you're trying to fucking do that clickbait shit on my own fucking I'm page. To, I'm trying to get some minutes. Fucking Blackamoto. See, you've minutes, been hanging yeah. out with, you've been hanging out with Vegas too long. I shouldn't have let you go to that fight. I shouldn't have let you go to that fight. See, so, yeah, they infested you with their little clickbait shit. Because now you, I know what you're doing. Main event of the evening. This I know about because I know both fighters. You know, um, Alex yeah, okay, Volkov. Yeah, okay, casual. And casual. Should okay. I turn this whole shit off right now? Should I make this whole fucking shit I'm, sink right I'm now? Working. You can go back to your own fucking I'm YouTube working. channel and go, oh, let me fucking get some clips from Freestyle Bender. Oh, Style Bender, you got some clips from me, please. Oh, please oh my God. Please Jesus give me Christ. some clips from my YouTube. Okay, look, Volkov, I like, he knows how to use his range. Off recent memory, his footwork wasn't anything to write home about. But I like that he knows how to use his range, his jab. Good kicking game for a big guy. Yeah, long game, good jab, all that kind of stuff. That being said, this guy, Aspinall, he's fighting is a motherfucker. He's fast. That's one thing I noticed about Aspinall, his speed. He is fast. In Ganu, the biggest threat to Ganu in my eyes was um, Cyril Gans. 
and and Ghana took care of him with one knee. Now I feel like Aspinall is a guy that everyone has to watch out for, not just the champ, not just yet as well. Everyone has to watch out for him because I just feel like he's he's a hybrid type fighter. He's a guy that just knows how to mix his grappling and his, his striking very well. And also, like I said, he's fast. But um, what about while we're talking about Gan and Aspinall? Because I was watching uh, Aspinall fight and he was giving yeah. me like, you know... Gan's vibes. Yeah, 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 Gan vibes. Yeah, like, give me I know a, what you mean. A breakdown of like... That you know, fight will be sick. That fight comparison. will be sick. When I talk about guys like that, it's guys like me. Guys who use feints very well, intelligent footwork, um, good looks. Good jab, good jab, just flow. Guys were able to flow with the moment and just flow with the go and read. You're able to read your opponent very well. They remind me of myself in a way because of the game they play. But what if they fought each other? That would be like one of the most technical, like... I would love that fight. A lot of you might think, oh, what a boring fight, but I don't think so. I think that fight would be one of the heavyweight fight of the year type shit like i uh, and it's not it, it might not be a back and forth slug em, rock em, sock em, robot type shit but i think like it'd just be just be gangster to watch them just kind of just figure each other out all right met methods of victory for the heavyweights for the heavyweights uh man alex volkov even using his knees as well i just thought about that maybe if you can set up knees i don't remember yeah i don't know if he sets up like step up knees just elevator knees the way dan hooker does them be really good against aspinall if you can catch him in, well, I'd say first try and just clinch him and get him to the fence and just, just lean on him. Hit him with strikes on the fence and just lean on him. And if you can take him down, take him down with some Greco, but I'd say lean on him. Use that weight, use that that size advantage. Aspinall, footwork, and just do your thing because fuck, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a thing. Fuck, get the fuck out my face. Fuck you. Done with you. God. Fuck you, you too. You are so unprofessional. You're, fucking, you are so, you're very unprofessional. Look at me. You are so yourself. unprofessional. I'll find you. You're disrespectful. I'll fuck. I'll you can't fight you. me. You know, you. You're not even man enough to watch my jock strap. Excuse me. Sit the fuck down. Eat my go ass. Play a Eat my ass. Yeah. Yeah. You and Kobe yeah. can go do that shit. I love. All my niggas love Kobe. <laughs>